now. Shit! You okay, Lieutenant? Oh, hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Feet the enemy. Sorry, but yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. St. John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal St. John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit, he's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah there's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. Oh, you working on napalm? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. <clears throat> Again, let me apologize for my more eccentric officers. No need, sir. We have one final stop. As much as I believe in Lieutenant Weaver's work, what you're about to see could be, I think, our path to victory. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, well, why don't you read it? <sighs> Active ingredients. Chlor... chlor of form and uh, a turp turpin tur get out Shit. get out Matt I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs I got it covered Lieutenant Whitaker this is Corporal St. John he's a new member of Corey's unit he's got some experience out in the ship read this what? Read this. I mean, you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, ethylacetic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Stand at attention. Sir, I don't. Dead. You're supposed to be dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. Not right here. Wait, wait a, wait a second. I, I don't understand. I couldn't I, I find you. You had died, and I. Uh, no, we were overrun. Was it and we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and I Farewell was overrun. They said that everybody was dead. I, didn't think that I never thought I would see you again. again. Hey, hey, listen. Hey. We can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't hey. look back. Come Please. on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. They're forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I didn't come here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. Look, afterwards, 
Whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. Corporal St. John to Lieutenant Weaver. Come back. St. John to HQ. This is Weaver. What can I do for you, Corporal? Uh, your requisition form says you need mercury. Any idea where I can get it? Yeah, sure. I should have written that shit down for you. It comes from, uh, Cinnabar. Corey's unit scouted out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Yes, sir. Hey, between you and me? If the colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes sir, no sir bullshit, all right? Makes me feel old. Corporal. Hey. Sergeant. New guy? Name's Caleb. Caleb Tomlinson. Deacon St. John. Yeah, I, I just rode in. Oh, cool, man. Hey, listen, if you need something for your ride, you 
Come see me. Between us, Lucas, the Canuck over at Diamond Lake, he'll rip you off, man. Great. Well, keep that in mind. Well, okay then. <sighs> Corporal, later. Corporal, what do you need? Hey, Sergeant. Hey, you. I haven't seen you around here before. Name's Jacob D'Angelo. Everybody calls me D. St. John, Deacon. So, uh, you're the guy to come to for hardware? You got it, pal. You need guns? I got guns. If I don't have it, it was never made, you know what I mean? Uh, great. I'll keep that in mind. I don't got all day. Well, I do, but still, come on. Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> huh? Ah, oh, okay. Come on, this shit? This is some primo shit, let me tell you. Corporal? Hey. I'm, uh, new around here. Name's Deacon St. John. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ella Salazar. Just call me Sal. So, uh, this is where I bring bounty ears? Mm-hmm. This is the place. If you have any freaker ears, bring them to me. Got it. Been busy out there, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you have today? Okay, very good. Oh, you've got a few. Good. Hmm, nice haul. All right. Corporal, take care. Hey, what are you doing here? Move along, buddy, move ah, along. Corporal, man of the hour. Sergeant. Now that's a gun. Hey, you be careful with that one. You'll shoot your eye out. Yeah, okay. Let's see you, Corporal. Hey, you sleep with that gun, am I right? What, who, who the hell is... Huh, Eddie Apuna?
It's like Boozer says, I hear a bunk calling my name. You got something to say about it? Corporal St. John, is it? Yes, sir. Come in. Just enjoying a cup of tea, herbal, courtesy of uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Would you like to try some? It's very good for the digestion. Uh, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I was just looking for the duty roster. I have an assignment for you. Men, Corporal. Not that they deserve to be called that. They've taken one of ours. Lieutenant Justine Norwood. Fine officer. And they have her, so, uh, yes, I will get her back, sir. With the help of men like you, we're going to take back this world. Dismissed.
Corporal St. John. I need to see you. I'll be at the Diamond Lake outpost. Copy that. I'll be there as soon as I can. Yeah? Nope. Hey, what are you doing here? Hey, Corporal. As hey, D. I got a question for you. What the hell's an East Coast City boy doing all the way the hell out here? Actually, yeah. I uh, served with a guy from Long Island. Accent's kind of hard to miss. No shit, right? Let me tell you, man. Before shit went down, I used to run this website called You Need Guns? I Got Guns dot com. Oh, Jesus. Holy shit. That's where I've seen you before. You had a... You had a cable show. Uh, my old man used to watch it back in the day. Hey, your old man had good taste. Goddamn right I did. I used to travel the country hitting up out-of-the-way gun shows, flea markets, shit like that. Uh, I guess this is about as out-of-the-way as it gets. I guess it is at that, huh? Let's see you, Corporal. Hey. You sleep with that gun, am I right? St. John, Fort Burrell, St. John. <laughs> you got your ears on, man? Hey, is this, is this thing gonna work? I don't think it's ready to do Yeah, your radio works. What's up? Deacon St. John, hey. Uh, I mean, you know, nothing. It's just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since the old swearing in thing. That was some shit, am I right? <laughs> Taylor, you know, I'm kind of busy. What, hey, hey, what, what the what the hell you you got? They got you doing? I'm I'm in the damn infantry or some shit. Spend all day burning out nests, chopping down trees, hauling wood. So, so, sorry, sorry. What, what are you doing? Research. They got me going out into the shit, finding supplies for the officers, working on. Oh shit! Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, working on uh, on uh, bio weapons, uh, chemical weapons, shit like that. Burn them freaks the ground. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Look. Taylor, I gotta go. All right, all right. Hey, um, hey, look, man. It's uh, it's just I'm I'm ha I'm having second thoughts about all this military shit, you know. 
Uh, Taylor, what radio are you on? Are you sure that you're not being monitored? Oh, shit! Huh, that's what I thought. Gotta go. St. John out. There we go. Okay. Taxpayers. But dumb as they were, we can't underestimate them. We gotta know the chief bucketing looks are hiding out there in some bunker, waiting for the freaks to die off. They didn't save the hungry or their precious constituents. You know the only reason they're in power. They save the elite, the men and women who play ball. They sit on the ground while we drink champagne while they wait. Meanwhile, we're out here dying. Suffering. Also, the feds can hit the damn reset button. But they didn't account for one thing. They're not as stupid as they thought we were. Once they emerge to reclaim the world when the freaks are gone, we'll be waiting. Oh, yes, we will. And they'll be sorry they ever came out of hiding. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Ah, oh, Jesus, even all the way down here, I can't get away from goddamn Radio Free Oregon. Bounties.
Corporal Deacon St. John. <laughs> hey, you got your ears on, man? Hey. Taylor, what do you need? There you are. Okay. Uh, so I finally figured out how to use this damn thing. All right. I got a secure channel and everything. So how's it going, man? <sighs> Taylor, I'm kind of busy right now, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> uh, hey, so words out in the camp that drugs are making their way in right under the colonel's nose. <laughs> it's good stuff, too. But do you know anything about that? I don't do drugs, Taylor, so no, I don't know anything about it. Why? No, 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 I, I don't know either. I'm just, I saw this guy, you know, one of the new recruits acting all suspicious. He rides in it and out of camp all the time, and so I thought, I thought I'd follow him, right? <laughs> Let's see what the hell he's about. Ah, oh, God damn it, Taylor, listen to me. You just go to Corey, let him handle it. You got that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good call, yeah. Okay, Mr. St. John, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later, man. Yeah, out. <laughs> Jesus Christ, tell him that. What are I gotta ask, you, uh, well, you seem a long way from home out here. I was studying theater at the community college here. Go fighting Pratipus, yes? I am, I was an exchange student from Yokohama in Japan. I kind of figured that. Yes. Anyway, as you say, a long way from home. Service. I mean, yeah, I missed the swearing in, but I can always tell when someone served. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, four years, 10th Army, Afghanistan. Like I told the Colonel, I hated every goddamn minute of it. How about you? Yeah, <laughs> you got the eye for it too, huh? Yeah, me? No, nothing so grandiose like you. National Guard, eight years. I actually kind of loved it, you know, pushing pencils and Salem and, and playing soldier on the weekends. But you're the real deal. Well, we all did our part. Yeah, we did it that. That is true. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Damn gate. Hey, he's with Curry. Open the gate. Why are you not working hard? Why are you not 
Hey, Sarge. Not today. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see you, Corporal. Corporal. Uh, so, uh, where are you from, Lucas? Was it? Uh, I, I can't place your accent. <laughs> that obvious. Y yeah, fr fr from Canada originally. Yeah, I was down here on holiday with the family, yeah, doing a bit of camping out, you know, uh, w west of Crater Lake. A wife and kids. Uh, my boys would have been eight and nine this year. Canada, huh? Oh, you're a long way from home. Ah, oh, tell me about it. Yeah, I, I was a teacher, uh, engine repair in Calgary at the Technical Institute. Oh, you ever been? No, no, I guess not. Uh, anyways, the, the colonel, he, uh, he gave me this job, so now this is home, yeah? Yeah. something, just let me know. All right, then. Corporal, stay safe out there. Corporal, good. I have a job that requires your unique skills. Oh, sure, yeah, uh, yes, sir. You remember Vasquez? The man that went AWOL. Yeah, we tracked him to the logging camp, I remember. Well, this man... Sergeant Lee Anderson was his partner. He was about to be arrested when he killed a guard and took off. Oh, your men have quite the code of honor. Our men? You're one of us now, remember? Now mark the location on where he was last seen on your map. Apparently, like Vasquez, he wasn't alone. Great. Lieutenant Weaver, you there? I'm at the mine. Good, good. Okay, man. You take a look around. The report I saw listed ore testing kits. You're gonna need one. An ore testing kit? Copy that. Uh, Cinnabar is kinda red, but not shiny. It'll have a dull luster to it. Gonna be hard to miss. Test the ore. It's gotta be at least 60% pure, or I can't use it. Alright, got it.
Testing kit, testing kit. Where the hell am I gonna find an ore testing kit? Maybe one of these uh, shacks. I can use these. Beacon in here. Oh, another one of those uh, micro recorders. Yeah, wonder what happened here. a specimen of Homo sapiens mutans corporosis using 10,000 milligrams of ketamine. Reference in field note 2071, where 6,000 milligrams was barely enough to subdue the Homo sapiens mutans albino. We tracked this subject from its primary habitat and structures on the northern rim of Crater Lake, what used to be the visitor's center, I believe, to this mine. Currently, we have no working theory as to the subject's migratory habits, living patterns, or... How about why it's so goddamn big? Got any theories about that? Yeah, as a matter of fact, we do. Really? Yeah. Blood tests have shown that Homo sapiens mutans corporosis have extremely elevated amounts of anabolic steroids. Wait, so what? Before they became infected, they were roided out? Basically, yeah. Not that they were all bodybuilders or athletes taking illegal synthetic androgens. Some probably had naturally high levels. The result's the same. Yeah? What's that? They can literally tear you in half. Come on. Let's get these samples crated up and get out of here. <laughs> Roided out freaks. That's just great. Another Nero injector. Good. Well, I was feeling a little under the weather.
fuel. Here we go. Or testing kit. Yeah. It's interesting. Lab Note Two Zero Six. Captain Curry brought in a new batch. Screamer. No. That should be it. 